Hello everyone, it's me JB from Unique Tutorials. Today, in this video, I will show you how to transfer videos and images from Windows computer to iPhone and iPad devices. So, for this tutorial, I will divide into two sections. First step will be without using internet connections and the second step will be using an internet connections. So, let's begin with the first step without using internet connections so for this what you need to do is you need to open any web browser in your windows computer and you need to visit to this website and download this itunes software for your windows as you can see here download itunes for windows i'll be providing this website link to in the video description so you can click there and you can visit to this website as i've already downloaded this software and installed in my windows computer so i'm not doing to going to do it again so if you have not download the iTunes for your Windows computer then you can see here on the screen you please download it and install it so after installing what you need to do is connect your iPhone or iPad devices with your computer using a lightning cable that is the USB lightning cable data cable so you connect it firstly with your computer now after connecting your iPhone with your computer what you need to do is you can see here in the computer screen iTunes software just double left click to open it now once the software gets open you can see here a small mobile icon just tap on it so once you click on you can see it's your iPhone's summary and details everything so what you need to do here you can see on the left panel you can see here photos just click on it now under this photo sections you can see here sync photos just enable it if it is not being enabled or if it is enabled then keep it as it is and if it is not enabled then just enable it by clicking it now after that what you need to do suppose you need to locate the files where your picture or videos is being saved in your windows computer so just select click on this you can choose the folder now say in my case I have saved in this folder save pictures so after the selections just click on select folder and once it is done so here are some more options in the below you can see here all folders that means there may be a multiple folder inside a folder so you can select all folder or you can select a selected folders and if that folder contains a photos as well as videos then do enable these options include videos and if there is only photos then you can just untick also but I will highly recommend to keep it as it is and in my case the folder which I have selected is having a photo and a video so I will enable this one and after that what you need to do is you can see in the below right below apply just click on apply as you can see here syncing So let's copy it. If you get any such kind of errors, then try it again by clicking on sync. So it's done. Sometimes what happens, you may not be able to sync, then try it again. And if it successfully sync, then you will get your files transport in your iPhone or iPad devices. So to check, you can see in the computer screen that once you open the photos applications in your iPhone or iPad devices you can see below from my Mac or from my PC whatever so you can just open this folder and you can see here I have one picture file which I have transferred from my computer and here is a video which I have transferred from my Windows computer so in this way you can transfer any videos or photos from Windows computer to your iPhone or iPad devices without using internet connections but you need to connect it with your lightning cable data cable so this is the first step so if you want to delete those files then what you need to do is just untick this then just click on remove and click on apply to delete that video and files from your computer and if you go back to your photos app 
then the photos and the videos will get erased so this is the first step so let's jump into the second step now for the second step once again you need to open any web browser and you need to visit to this website and download the software name as send anywhere so here you will get a various platform softwares so if you are using a windows computer then you can click for a windows as you can see here below it's for desktop portions so you can download for windows portions but here you need to do one more thing is that you need to download the same software for your iphone device here it is written as ios so you need to download in your mobile too the same software by going to this website i'll be providing this website link too in the video description so you download for both the device for your iphone and also for your windows computer so as i've already installed in both of my device so i'm not going to do it again so you download and install in both the devices so once you have installed the software or the application in both the devices that is in your windows computer and your iphone devices or ipad devices then what you need to do is in your computer screen as you can see just open the send anywhere application now you can see it's user interference and similarly you open the same applications in your iPhone devices too but remember here you need to have a internet connections I forgot to mention again so you need the internet connections for this so what you need to do is now you can drag and drop the files or folders here so you can just click it and you can visit the folder or search the folder say in my case I'll try to send one photo from here so what you will do is I can just drag and drop or I can just select a file and click open so it will generate a barcode or even you can see a pin codes so what you can do in your iOS device now you can see in the iPhone screen while I'm using the same applications just click on or tap on receive so here you can see input key you can scan the barcode by using a camera devices or you can just input the number as being shown so I'll just input the number now after putting the input number or you can just scan directly also tap on receive wait for a few seconds so it's transparent so it's showing in border it's completed now the picture will be saved in your photo applications directly and if you're sending a video also you can get in the photo applications of your iPhone or iPad devices so these are the two very convenient way and most used way I personally using these two ways mainly and if I have any problem while using this transparent then I will go with my first tutorial which I am using using the iTunes software I find iTunes more convenient than this one as it this second process requires a internet connection so these are the best ways to transfer photos and videos from your Windows computer to your iPhone or iPad devices so if you find any difficulty in understanding this video tutorial feel free to leave your comments below I'll try my best to help you with your problems so if you find this video tutorial useful click on the thumbs like button and if you're new to our channel click on the subscribe button and lastly thanks for watching